Hey guys, what's up? It is Robbie with Open World Games, and we have a ton of news to get to here, but don't forget to subscribe to us right here on YouTube, and check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We are Open World Games, and that is what we are covering, and today we're talking about Watch Dogs frame rate, showing you some new screenshots, and going into some brand new details about online free roam. That's right, online free roam, and don't worry, we will be returning to our Watch Dogs podcast soon. I will be joined with fellow YouTubers, so stay tuned for that. Let's talk about more Watch Dogs. But guys, we have some awesome news about the frame rate. Man, it has been rumored that the frame rate is going to be 60 frames per second on the PS4 running at 1080p. And this is according to the pre-order page for the game on the PlayStation official site. And they go on to say, the true Watch Dogs experience only on PlayStation 4. The world of Watch Dogs comes alive on PS4 with the best graphics on any console and exclusive missions found only on the PlayStation. Hack everything as you make your way through Chicago's underground as you experience Watch Dogs in a way that only PS4 can provide at 60 frames per second in 1080p. And you're probably wondering, what about the Xbox One? What is going on with this story? Well, I did ask someone about that that has actually played the game, and they said that it seems to be running at 60 frames per second on the Xbox One as well, but I don't know about the resolution. We will be finding out more May 27th, so stay tuned here right at Open World Games because I'm going to be able to find out for you guys as soon as possible. But what's really interesting about this story is we need confirmation from Ubisoft. Previously in September 27th of 2013, Watch Dogs was stated by Jonathan Morin to be running at 30 frames per second on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So I'm very, very surprised uh, by this news. I would be thrilled if they were able to get an open world game of this scale running at 60 frames per second because it means next gen is really here. They are really going for it. They are going for the 60 frames per second games. And guys, that's what I expect at this point. I'm very happy with this news, but if it runs, at a consistent 30 frames per second, you're not going to hear me whining and complaining because one other game that did run at 30 frames per second was Need for Speed Rivals, and man, that game was a blast. And here are some new screenshots showing off the city of Chicago in Watch Dogs. This comes from the brand new trailer and special that IGN is doing. They're doing a Watch Dogs video every single week, and this one focuses on the city of Chicago. You can check out that trailer in the description below, but boy oh boy, this game is looking gorgeous. So I got some brand new information here about the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of Watch Dogs. Then we're gonna be talking about free roam in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. I know a lot of you are really, really curious about free roam like me, and this is online free roam as well. But the creative director, Jonathan Morin, goes on to answer a question about next gen versus old gen, which is basically the Xbox One, PS4 versus PS3 and the Xbox 360. And he goes on to say, the only two exclusive next gen features are data decryption and the bonus free roam online options. So guys, Anyone that's on the Xbox 360 and PS3, it seems like you will not be able to do online free roam uh, on the Xbox 360 and PS3. And he goes on to say, Watch Dogs Precision here, yes, seamless invasion and telling is available on every platform releasing soon. And that includes PS3, PS4, Xbox One, 360, and PC. So it looks like they really do want you to buy the next gen consoles at this point. They're preparing you for the big year, which is 2015. Expect most games to be next gen, and then they will be phasing out the Xbox 360 and PS3 by that time. So this is a little bit of a warning message from the dev team saying, guys, consider saving up your money for an Xbox One and PS4 uh, in 2015. Because remember guys, they are working on a little game called The Division, and it is a little known fact that Watch Dogs is helping them prepare for the vision. So that is really exciting news. Claus had a good question for Jonathan Morton. He goes on to ask, can you play poker, drinking games, chess with your friends in eight player free roam? And then Jonathan Morton goes on to say, 
it's not personal no we don't support mp for these mini games so guys looks like the mini games are going to be limited to single player so that's right we got some new information about online free roam I am extremely curious about this mode and I asked someone in online free roam will you be able to jump from free roam to the game modes and then back into free roam how seamless is it how does the lobby system and invite system work and I got a response they go on to say so if you're in online free roam and you want to play decryption one of you selects decryption from your phone menu and from there it should invite all of your friends in your party to the game as well. There doesn't appear to be a system in place where you can move your entire lobby of friends seamlessly. You sort of start a new lobby and then you add your friends back into it. As I said before though, the auto invite system is quite fluid and speeds up the process dramatically. And the auto invite system he's talking about is when you play Watch Dogs, your friends that are also in Watch Dogs will be notified and they will be able to instantly join you. So man, the system uh, of joining other players and friends sounds really, really good in this game for free roam and then the other modes. It sort of reminds me of Grand Theft Auto Online. So that is very, very good news. This is exactly what I wanted to hear about online free roam and how the online component for Watch Dogs works. I'm about to open your world. You got me in. And then safe houses. Will you be able to access safe houses and apartments in online free roam? I got a response. You can't access safe houses in online free roam with friends. From what I've seen, most safe houses are inside large freight shipping containers across the map that give you access to your wardrobe, a bed so you can sleep and skip time, and they also usually have an audio log you can collect for side missions. That sounds awesome. It's unfortunate that we won't be seeing apartments and safe houses in online. It seems that way at least. We might see a hub location, I'm not too sure. But uh, what's really cool about this is the large freight shipping containers. It really sounds like Aiden Pierce is not going to be comfortable in Chicago. He's probably going to be wanted by police and criminals. It just seems like everything in this game uh, that you do really builds up the story and the feeling that Aiden Pierce is a vigilante, which is exciting. I can't wait to find these shipping uh, containers and see what they are like inside. It doesn't sound like Aiden is uh, really living a comfortable life. Then you guys have asked me about weapon attachments uh, and here is the answer. There are weapon attachments but not any that you can add yourself. So guys you won't be able to buy um, extended magazines and then put them on any weapon but what you will be able to do is buy uh, pistols for example that are very standard and they will come with eight shot magazines and the regular clip size and then you'll be able to uh, buy the specs spec off versions of the pistols which have extended magazines and suppressors fitted so it's a good compromise i think that'll work well so i think suppressors are going to be uh, very important in this game since there is a huge stealth component in the game so I was wondering about the day and night cycle in this game. How long does it take for the sun to set in this game and for 24 hours to go by in game time? And then also, what about the weather system? How active is it? It appears that it's going to rain quite a bit in uh, Chicago. That is really good news. I really, really like that news because from the trailers, this game looks drop dead gorgeous when storms are active in this game. I've seen some screenshots of it. And boy, oh boy, it looks amazing when it is raining and foggy in this game. I can't wait for you guys to see this game when we finally get to play on May 27th. But in terms of day and night cycle, um, it seems like it's going to take roughly an hour for the full day and night cycle to take effect. So that's a guesstimate, of course. Uh, I'm going to be doing videos about the day and night cycle upcoming, so look forward to that.
then you guys are really concerned about the car handling in Watch Dogs. Seems to be a big, big concern from the recent trailer uh, that showed the multiplayer component of Watch Dogs. But car handling uh, leaves a little bit to be desired from what I understand. Each car handles differently in terms of ease of turning, speed, acceleration. And that is really good news because it shows that they really did focus on making each car feel unique. So I'm sure you're going to be able to find your perfect car in the game. But you might find yourself spinning out uh, a patrol quite often. So it sounds like that's going to be something you're going to have to consider when going through the streets of Chicago. But what's great about it are the motorbikes. I guess they handle really really well i'm gonna be on the motorcycles all the freaking time in this game they look like a blast and i think they're gonna be one of the go-to vehicles in this game simply because you can hack uh the blockers and slip right in between the blockers with your motorcycle so that is a very cool feature so guys thank you once again for joining me for this watchdog coverage i appreciate your messages your comments out on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. I read through nearly all of them and I try to reply to as many as possible. So if you guys want to leave a comment, go ahead and give this video a like if you are wanting more Watch Dogs coverage and look forward to more from The Division, Far Cry 4, and Assassin's Creed Unity. More open world gaming goodness is heading your way. I will see you guys next time.